Well, good morning, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. As you can see by the clock on the wall, it is about uh, a little past quarter to 11. I just woke up about 15 minutes ago, so yeah, I had a really uh, late night last night. I got into Netflix. I was on a uh, Cheers marathon, so I probably stayed up a little bit later than I should. I don't think I got to bed till around 3 or 4 in the morning, so uh, that's pretty much why I look like this right now. I tell you, when you get Netflix, make sure you do not get addicted like I think I've become. <laughs> it, it's terrible. And the, the, the sad part is, you can you have all these series and you can watch them end to end and you know how one episode goes into another well you see one you don't want to stop watching you just gotta keep going and going and going kinda of like the Energizer Bunny <laughs> but um, I'm up for the day and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast I'm just gonna eat really light today because we're gonna have some uh, these steak burgers tonight. I don't know if I, I don't think I told you guys yet. Uh, about a, two, three weeks ago, I would say, uh, we bought some uh, beef from Capital Meats. They were coming around the neighborhood selling. They're like one of those trucks that come around and they deliver meat to your house basically door to door. Well, we decided to uh, stock up because, you know, as I've said before, mom's having her surgery. And, uh, you know, she's not going to be able to do much shopping. So we figured, you know, if we buy some meat from them, we bought a lot. We bought a year's worth of beef, chicken, and seafood, and some pork. It's like a whole mixed bag. And, you know, since mom's having her surgery, we figured this would be a good way to stock up. That way, all we have to do for shopping is get, you know, side dishes, you know, fruits, vegetables, things like that. But the, the, the main meals are pretty much taken care of. So what we do is every every night we decide what we want you know beef chicken or pork and so we did get some fish I think we got um, some of the fish in there is cod haddock uh, they also had one uh, box that had whole lobsters and I can't wait to try that um, so far everything's been pretty good um, we had filet mignon last night which was absolutely delicious there were a couple tough pieces but on the whole, it was really, really good. I, if you guys haven't seen it, um, go, go get on my Facebook page. I'll show you uh, what that actually looked like. When I cook filet mignon, I always do it uh, do a mushroom and onion uh, red wine reduction sauce. Usually, I like to use like a Cabernet Sauvignon, which is what I used last night. I buy the uh, Dark Horse. Absolutely delicious, and I tell you, I will film that uh, sometime. I couldn't do it last night because Dad was sitting in the living room with the TV on, and of course with uh, co problems with copyright strikes, you know, I I just didn't want to risk it. So um, let's see what we're gonna do tonight. I think we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, steak burgers tonight. Uh, they actually have uh, sirloin steaks that they chopped up, they ground up just like ground beef, and form into burger patties. So we'll see how that is. And I'll probably film that, grill, grilling that. I'm kind of curious because usually sirloin is very lean, so I want to see if it'll actually uh, stay together. Sometimes when you grill burgers that are very lean, the problem is there's not enough fat as, to use as a binder, and the burgers just fall apart in the grill. So uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. Talk to you guys in a few minutes. I'm going to go check on Simon. He seems to be doing much better. Um, last night I noticed that that one foot, I think it's his left front leg, is a little bit tender. I don't know if it's the paw or the leg itself. I, I think what happened is he just jumped off wrong that night. Um, and of course he's an older cat, so he has some arthritis problems, no, no doubt about that. But I was just concerned because I had a friend of mine whose cat actually suffered a stroke. And that's pretty much how it started. The cat started kind of walking cockeyed, and then the uh, his eyes were just kind of going all crazy. His face got paralyzed on one side, and I just noticed Simon is in the TV room. Let's see how you doing, buddy? <clears throat> Want to say hi to everybody on YouTube? Yeah. Well, you can see he's tired, but I think he's feeling okay. Doing, doing all right, buddy? Yeah, he doesn't really like to be pet when he's been sleeping, but, you know, he looks good. No, no power, no, nothing paralyzed on his face looks good. Let me check his paw here. Uh, that one's good. This is the one I think was giving him trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see that's really tender, so I think that's what happened. 
I think that he, uh, I think that he just jumped down wrong. He probably aggravated some arthritis in there. Probably going to take him to the vet sooner or later. Uh, unfortunately, funds are low at the moment, especially with, uh, you know, mom having her operation. So, it may have to wait a little bit. I don't think it's, I don't think there's anything, there's, I don't think there's a dire emergency because if, if it was really bad, if he had hurt his leg severely, I think he'd be in a lot more pain than he is right now. It's not really painful for him. I think it's just some tenderness. So, you know, I might get some grief about it, but unfortunately you have to have priorities. And I do love my cats, but you know, the family comes first. So, you know, it may have to just wait a little bit. I think we'll probably be able to, to shake it by next month though. Ah, got another surprise for you guys too. Check it out. It is semi sunny today. Yeah, this is the first day we've actually had some sun. Uh, you can see that the clouds are kind of breaking towards the north. If you look to the south, everything's kind of broken up. And I definitely think we're in for a nice sunny day today. There is a slight chance of rain, but nothing super severe. I, uh, I'd really like to get out and maybe do a walk later on, but I'm going to wait for mom because she really wants to get walking. They told her that before she, um, that before she goes in for the operation, she get as much exercise as possible because the more exercise you do, and the more stretching, especially because what you have to do before you exercise, you stretch those knee muscles out, and then you exercise them, it actually builds up the strength and the tendons around it. So when they put the new knee in, the tendons and the muscles will take even better. I know a friend of my mom, she was kind of stagnant, she, a bigger lady, and um, she didn't heed the warnings at all. She didn't exercise before, she went into the surgery, had the surgery, and it took her like a year to recover. And, and again, that's because the muscles around her bad knee were so atrophied that when you put the good knee in, it was like she didn't have the operation at all. I mean, the pain was gone, but she still couldn't walk. So she went on a regimen. She lost about 50 pounds. And uh, it took it took about a year, but you know she thank God she's back up and walking again. So that's just a lesson to you guys. If you're going in for knee surgery, make sure you do your exercises. What you doing, little girl? Want to say hi to YouTube? Yeah. Every morning. Yeah. I got to give her treats. You know she's used to it. She's getting plump though. I mean, look at this. Definitely going to have to put you on a diet, little girl. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I used to be able to put my hand around her. Now it's not even close. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and stop for now. Um, probably get into some trouble a little later. I know that's my new saying. We're going to get into some trouble. Uh, it's pushing 11 right now. I want to get some breakfast and uh, basically get my morning started. So... Talk to you guys a little bit later. Wow, this is really starting to get irritating. Remember I told you guys I was having issues with uh, Windows 10 on my Toshiba laptop? For those of you guys that don't know, this is a uh, Toshiba Core i5 uh, second gen uh, running Windows 7. And it has been running smoothly for the past few days, but um, since I'm part of the Insider program, I get the new releases of Windows 7 before everybody else, they're the theatrical previews. And for some reason, uh, the latest theatrical preview, which is, I don't remember the build number, but for some reason, it's not taking properly. Um, it'll install, it'll say everything worked fine. When I get to actually trying to log in, I get nothing. I mean, it's just like totally blank, and I'm clueless as to what to do. I've been trying to look at the forms, and because this is such a new release, nobody has given me any suggestions on what to do. So, I think I'm just going to have to revert back and maybe uh, wait a week or so. It's definitely a glitch, at least with this system. Again, I'm, I'm not sure. If any, of you guys, if any of the guys out there have any suggestions of what might be wrong with this, please let me know. All right, guys, I think I finally might have figured this problem out. Remember I said nothing was working? Well, I decided to do a control delete to maybe try to get to the um, boot menu. You know, try to restart it. And sure enough, when I hit control delete, 
it came up and it'll actually let me put my password in. So right now it says it's preparing Windows. I'm hoping this might be the the pro you know solve the problem, but I was noticing I still wasn't getting a Wi-Fi signal. So I don't know if everything's installing properly. I'm gonna go ahead and let this work through and uh, see if I actually get the desktop. So check back with you guys in just a couple of minutes. All right. So it did seem to work, um, but it took a while to boot. And for some reason, it knocked out my uh, graphics driver. It's still uh, doing updates right now, so I'm gonna see if it'll install that again automatically. But that's just really weird. I, I, I'm shocked that just one release later, it would start knocking drivers out. Obviously, uh, Microsoft needs to do some work on this particular uh, release. And I will show you guys what it is. This is still Windows 10 Pro Insider and the build is 10547 so um, again hopefully this will work out I mean they may do another update really quickly so we'll see what happens just for those of you that are interested this computer is a Core i5 again an M480 uh, running at 2.67 gigahertz and 4 gigabytes of RAM I may upgrade this eventually to 8 be but because I don't really use this laptop all that often I don't really find a need for it. So we are good. Dad and I are going to head out and get some lunch today. Um, we're going to go over to our favorite place, uh, Nick's. Excellent, excellent food. Um, if you live in the Hampton Roads area, I would definitely recommend trying it. Um, I'll try to take a picture of what we get. I'm probably going to stick with a breakfast. I'm sure he'll get one of the lunches. His favorite is the uh, spaghetti and meat sauce. And he also likes the stuffed peppers. They do a fantastic stuffed peppers. It's literally green peppers stuffed with a rice and uh, tomato and meat mixture. Usually it's uh, beef, but sometimes they'll use pork. So it's right around noon now. So we're going to head out there and uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Oh, I am really upset, guys. Um, I bought a 12-pack of uh, gin cans of ginger ale from our local food line the other day uh, to help me with my stomach. And it has worked wonders, but as with so many other product canned products I get from that place, this is what happened. I got down to the last four or five cans, and this is what I found. These things are bloated as can be. And for some reason, it's only their brand of sodas that do this. And it's a shame because I really do like them. If you look on top, this thing is bulging up at least an inch. And not on the bottom. I've actually seen it to where they've actually bulged out the bottom too. But you can't, you can't drink this and you never should. I mean, even though the stuff inside may still be carbonated, it's not safe. Um, the reason it's bulging is because there's some type of there's some type of something growing in there uh, probably some kind of bacteria maybe just nasty nasty stuff when that grows that expands and that's why you're seeing this so basically what we have here is some tainted ginger ale and like I said it's not the first time I've actually bought their cans of uh, seltzer and had this happen before so I'm gonna go ahead and bring these back to food line later today I'm gonna see what they'll do for me because I only have these two left and uh, hopefully they'll give me another Kate case because they, they better because this is unacceptable to see this multiple times means that there is something drastically wrong with their uh, production and uh, I'm questioning whether or not I ever actually want to drink this stuff again in the future. Ah, we just got back from the restaurant, and boy, we are full. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here for today because there really isn't too much else to uh, talk about. I'll uh, put a picture at the end of this to show you guys what we actually ate. Um, unfortunately, it's clouding up again, so the Weather Bureau once again was wrong. Um, they said it was going to be mostly sunny today with a few clouds mixed in, but I think it's the other way around. It's mostly cloudy with a little bit of sun mixed in, so they're still not getting it right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.